How's it going? Thought I'd do a bit of a walk around clip. It's the start of autumn here, so we're getting ready to plant out a few different bits and pieces. Some have already gone in. Thought we'd start just up here at the top near the house. We have a wicking barrel here. I'm going to be adding some horse manure to and worm castings, and that's going to have a whole heap of garlic planted out. Doing two lots this year, one lot now in March and another in May. We've got some cloves in the fridge now actually, just chilling down before they go in. This barrel here had the bell chili. I've pruned him back and I was going to transplant him and overwinter him, but I've got some little seedlings germinating at the moment, so I might actually pull him. He's about two and a bit years old. I'll rework this barrel into the newer style, the ones that have a bit of a donut reservoir in the bottom, and I'm going to plant in a dwarf red pawpaw or papaya into that, so it should do fairly well. Uh, north is roughly that way, so it'll get a lot of nice winter sun up this side of the house. And we're also training this feral or volunteer pumpkin to go up there as well. It's actually growing out of Mayer's mint, um, little mint garden here. That's the stem there, a bit crushed, but we put a whole heap of worm casts in here when we planted out this garden, so he's just decided to take off and I'm trying to train him under the stairs. We've got another little uh, vine going out that way, so I'll try and tuck him in so no one trips over him. Up in these top IBC beds, we've got some new plants in. I've got a little pea, it's a little purple pea egg plant. It's an F1 hybrid, but hopefully I'll be able to get some rootstock seed and I'll be able to graft from that onto the rootstock seed. We'll see how we go to keep it going. We have the paddy pan squash, not doing very well at all. I think it just got flooded out too many times when we had that rain earlier on in the year and it's just got really bad stunted growth and has actually got a bit of powdery mildew on it. Because it doesn't have a lot of vigour, I'm actually contemplating just pulling it. So, up here at the angled loofah, we have our first female flower out. So you can tell it's a female. It's the insides pretty much well like a pumpkin. Um, it's uh, the male pump, the male flower. Sorry, just have a single stem, and these guys have a bit of a um, flower-like arrangement, I suppose you'd call it, in the centre. So, and on the back with these cucubits, which are pumpkins, cucumbers, watermelons, those sort of things, you end up with a female, ver a, well the fruit itself, the flowers actually growing out of the end, so no male flowers to pollinate it with, which is a bit of a shame, but such is. But anyway, it's put on a lot of growth, it's gone over the top there, and that's the growing tip over here, that's one of the ends of the vine, so it's very happy in there. This other monstrosity is a gimpy gold cucumber. We've got four or five fruit on at the moment, and we picked our first one the other day. It was a nice, nice sized cucumber. Very tasty, very crisp, so very happy with these cucumbers so far. They are getting attacked by a caterpillar. I haven't worked out what butterfly or moth it belongs to, but it is a real pain. It's stripping, there we go, there's one of the little caterpillars. Don't know how well he's coming up. But um, it's stripping the leaves here, not so much, but in the aquaponics it's absolutely decimated the plant. It's actually a little bit embarrassing. I never got on to um, looking after it early. I've bought some Dipole now, which is a bacteria preparation. So I'll be spraying this plant and the other plant to see if we can save it. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but you get that. I've only got myself to blame. Pineapple, still haven't planted them out. They're two large suckers on this plant here and a small sucker on this plant here. Um, you can just leave the suckers on there and they will grow fruit next season, but yeah, it'll be stunted, so I really need to look after them. Over here, I've got my pawpaw. This is the dwarf red pawpaw, so they're a bisexual too. I forgot to mention that before, so we don't need a male plant. Over here, Hopefully we'll have some bell chilies coming up soon. I think they're little shoots down in there. I also have a couple of seedling trays. I've got some um, red rib or purple Brussels sprouts. I have some onions and red sorrel. The yellow dragon fruit, I actually have to get them ready this week and send them off. Uh, first thing Monday, I think I might send them off to a chap down in New South Wales. And these ones here are jalapeno chilies. So trying to give the chilies a go. The okra, the okra is booming. I cannot complain about this okra. It has been putting out so much fruit. We have some more that's ready to come off today. I already picked off half a dozen yesterday. We did get a couple of funky little curly okras. Uh, it was the first fruit from this plant and that plant behind, this tall one up the back. The fruit was actually curled, but I think that was because an insect got to them when they were young. So, 
but the, we've been getting loads. Oh, there's another one ready on this one here. There's one ready here. So we're getting um, at least half a dozen okra a day. Just a quick look. There is a beautiful okra flower. Let's see if we can get it in there. If you haven't seen an okra flower before, spectacular. Nice velvety inside. The ants are optional. They don't come with every flower, but yeah, they are quite spectacular. Just down in here, I planted out some bush cucumber. Never tried a bush cucumber before. They're an heirloom and you can replant them. So, so I'll definitely be saving some seeds from those guys just to see how they go. Down the front here, the lime tree is doing really well. It's got a sweet potato that's growing all the way up to the top. Lavender needs a trim back. The bay tree is really kicking off this year. The rosemary is doing really well. I've pulled out the strawberry bed and transplanted a whole heap of runners in different places around the yard. So there's eight in there and there's another eight somewhere else. These raspberries are finally putting on a lot of fruit. We have one lot, we have some more buds over here, two, and we have some more fruit over here, three lots, and there is a fourth down the bottom. Or maybe I was wrong. I think there's a fourth lot down the bottom there. So I'm most impressed. These plants obviously heeded my warning. I threatened to pull them out if they didn't fruit this year. Lemongrass is going well, as is the turmeric over the back there. This okra is surprising me. It's just pumping out so much fruit. It's got two branches and it's just continually throwing them out. So I'm very happy with that one. Over here the snake beans, I harvested a whole heap of these last night and also a whole heap of okra, getting quite a collection in the fridge. I've stripped out this, this garden bed here, uh, we'll probably put some sorrel and some other leafy greens in here and maybe some brussels sprouts, we'll see how we go. I've also set up the green feeder again for the girls, so they've been in there having a munch on that. Hey, and they're all getting along famously now aren't you? Yes. You like your pets? Uh, so, chooks are very happy. Down here I planted out a whole heap of uh, brassicas the other day. We've got four kohlrabi, uh, four blue curled scotch kale, uh, also some mangle over there. This bed got a massive uh, molassesing after I realised it was full of root knot nematodes with the carrots. Um, down here we have some cauliflower. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can count. There's seven down the front there, and there's also five of the rainbow chard up the back. That ginger just continues to astound me. It's putting up new green shoots. So that's the best ginger we've had this year. And I think it's pretty much all down to the horse manure and the worm cast uh, mulch that I put on top mixed with sugar cane. It yeah, it's just boomed. As soon as I put that on, it set up four or five new shoots. So I think I know what I'm going to do with all my gingers and gallangals this year. Down here, the blueberry is doing fantastic. It actually set a couple of flowers the other week, and we've got two blueberries set. And it's also put on a lot of nice new growth. So I think it's a bit con uh, confused with this weird weather we've had this year. Up into the small insect house. I've had one onion germinate out of this barrel. So I've got a couple of rows of onions in here, uh, just around the outside. And yeah, not a lot of luck with onions and tomatoes, such as, we'll see how they go in the end. Over here, we have some Bigelokias ripening up again. I already sent one load off to Sean. So more than enough, I think, for my own purposes on there. The ball chilies are going all right. These are the broccoli I planted out the other week when I did the planting clip. They're doing really well. They've put on a fair bit of growth for just a week and a bit, so most impressed. Up the back there, I've done a row of watermelon radish. Unfortunately, we had a really hot day the other day and all the ones that did germinate have wilted, so I don't know if we've lost them all or not. I'll give them another watering in a little while and see how we go. We even have a broccoli over here that doesn't look too happy so that's not good I'll we'll have to get out here with the watering can um, the market chili is doing really well it's setting more fruit after its big haircut and more flowers a little baby chili there over here water chestnuts are doing all right these snake beans are still producing well getting a load of beans I'm in a load so I'm gonna have to start sharing them around at the moment over here we have a kohlrabi and two 60-day cauliflowers one of the cauliflowers passed on, such as we'll fill the gap somehow. Over here the KY1 tomatoes are doing alright. 
they're actually tied up onto the framework here just using some hay twine um, you can't stake wicking beds that's one of the drawbacks with them if I stick a stake down there I'm gonna wreck the plastic lining at the bottom and yeah ruin the whole idea of the wicking bed so we pretty much will tie everything up from above here I've done the same with the yellow pod or yellow pot chili here just tied him back he was growing into the walk area but we have loads of fruit on here these guys are so called seven pot or seven pod because one of these chilies is enough to make seven pots or seven batches of chili it's got that much heat to it so pretty happy with how it's all going in here um, it's definitely been keeping the white cabbage butterfly out and the fruit fly but as for grasshoppers we're getting a load in here but that's fine because they're easy to hunt down and we can feed them to the chooks and fish they don't seem to mind oh and strawberries we, these strawberries are also from the other strawberry bed we cleared out so still want strawberries but just not that many taking up that much valuable bed space the only other bit of news we have is we've decided to extend the insect proof house or insect proof house uh, to this hoop section here it'll run up to the corner of the chicken shed and then there'll be a door over the end there my father's donated a couple of screen doors is scrounged so we'll have a door up that end and a door up this end so we can have wheelbarrow access it's a lot easier I think to be able to put doors here it was a little bit cramped at the ends of the existing one so it will be good to be able to have proper access without having to lift the side of the cloth there so well, that's pretty much all it I suppose we've got a couple of plants in we've got some more going in in the near future reworking a couple of beds so hopefully you'll see them all done and up and running in the next clip I'm real am excited about getting this hoop house done so hopefully I'll be standing in a uh, insect proof hoop house next time so any comments questions suggestions just drop in the comment section below and I'll get back to you other than that hope you have a great one and take it easy catch ya